The NCC plays a vital role in regulating Nigeria's telecommunications sector, ensuring that services are reliable and accessible. Working with NCC means you'll be part of shaping the future of communication in Nigeria. Plus, the compensation is competitive, making it a fantastic career choice. So if you want to apply for the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC Recruitment, you've come to the right place. I'm really excited to introduce you to a very important resource to help you. The NCC Recruitment Past Questions and Answers. This guide is available at an affordable price and is crucial for anyone serious about landing a job at NCC. Having a copy of these past questions is key to understanding the test format, identifying key topics, and practicing effectively. It helps you become familiar with what to expect, boosts your confidence, and improves your overall performance by highlighting trends and enhancing your preparation strategy. What is the primary function of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC? The correct answer. The primary function of the NCC is to regulate and oversee the telecommunications industry in Nigeria to ensure fair competition, quality services, and consumer protection. Who is the current Executive Vice Chairman of the NCC? The correct answer. The current Executive Vice Chairman of the NCC is Professor Umar Garba Danbada. When was the Nigerian Communications Commission established? The correct answer. The NCC was established in 1993. What does NCC stand for? The correct answer, NCC stands for the Nigerian Communications Commission. What is the main goal of the NCC's regulatory framework? The correct answer, the main goal of the NCC's regulatory framework is to promote fair competition, innovation, and investment in the telecommunications industry while protecting consumer interests. What is the role of the NCC in the spectrum management process? The correct answer, the NCC manages and allocates spectrum resources to ensure efficient and effective use of the radio frequency spectrum. How does the NCC handle consumer complaints? The correct answer, the NCC handles consumer complaints through its Consumer Affairs Bureau, which investigates and resolves issues related to telecom services. What is the NCC's stance on telecom infrastructure sharing? The correct answer. The NCC promotes infrastructure sharing among telecom operators to reduce costs and enhance service coverage. What are the regulatory requirements for telecom operators set by the NCC? The correct answer. Regulatory requirements include obtaining licenses, adhering to service quality standards, and complying with financial and operational guidelines set by the NCC. How does the NCC contribute to the development of the ICT sector in Nigeria? The correct answer. The NCC contributes by creating an enabling environment for investment, fostering innovation, and ensuring the implementation of policies that enhance the growth of the ICT sector. These sample questions are just a glimpse of what you might encounter. To truly excel in the recruitment process, you'll need the complete guide. The NCC Recruitment Past Questions and Answers is your essential tool for success, and it's available at an affordable price. Don't miss out on this chance to secure your future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or contact me on WhatsApp at plus 2349-0448-23426. Thanks for watching.